All right, you guys, what is up? We are back. We are going to go ahead and try to do the Lamy virtual takeover. Uh, we had some issues prior, but I'm happy that you guys are all back. Uh, today we will be going over Lamy. We're gonna wait for our special guest, Tony, to join the party. Uh, in the meantime, keep in mind, we do have two separate videos today. We've got one right now, and then we'll have one at two. All right, Tony, now I'm able to invite you. Let's see if this works. All right, I just sent you the invite. Boom, there we go. Tony, how are you, man? Uh, I'm better now. I don't know what happened, my man. I think it was on Instagram's end. Like, it wasn't letting me hit the control, so I don't know. They must oh, wow. not want us to reunite because we get into too much trouble, you know? Yeah. <laughs> it worked. It was working great when we did our test, but uh, I don't know what happened. Of course, things always go well on the test run, you know? Right. Perfect. Exactly. Perfect. Well, Good you morning. Good morning. Tony with Lamy. Tony, you want to give yourself a quick introduction, who you are, what you do, what's your favorite Starbucks drink? <laughs> <laughs> I need my boost in the morning to keep me going. Uh, yeah, my name's Tony, Tony Vaccaro. Um, I was uh, living out of our New York Soho flagship store for the past three years until uh, this past March when the COVID hit. And uh, I've been kind of landlocked here in Dallas, Texas the last uh, four months. So it's put a put quite the uh, crimp on our traveling schedule, obviously, as everyone else has uh, been been experiencing. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, I kind of um, direct and manage the sales uh, for the uh, US um, have been doing this for three years with uh, with Lamy, um, previously with a distributor, but now um, starting January 2020, we are now a distributor, uh, no longer a distributor. We are a direct subsidiary of Lamy Corporate in Heidelberg, Germany. So that is our new um, marching orders. And so we are directly um, linked to headquarters. And that's so, why I think, yep, go ahead. Yeah, so, so basically, so prior, you guys were like Lamy USA, where you distributed the products from Germany, but now Correct. you're part of Lamy Inc., which is Lamy Germany itself, but over here now in the Correct. States. Correct. Okay. Yeah, it's a much more linear line back to um, HQ. And uh, it's been working quite well for us as far as supplying you our uh, business partners. Agreed. Agreed. Yeah, we're, we're seeing a lot more inventory roll its way over here, and uh, we couldn't be happier. Uh, we couldn't be happier Great. that we work directly with you. You know, Tony, you and I have quite a bit Thank of chemistry you. going on. So this is yeah. just my brother from New York, or I guess from Texas, <laughs> wherever your, your right. hometown is. Uh, but yeah, Tony, we're happy to have you, man. You know, every time you fly thank out you. here and, and every time you know you do trivia before, it seriously always is a ton of fun. So thank I know. you for your time today. I miss my trip uh, this summer to Chicago and uh, a few of the shenanigans that we are uh, able to get into. <laughs> yeah, drinking some nice beer. Yeah, some nice Irish beer here in Chicago. Yeah. So. Cool, man. Cool. Yeah, we've been known to partake. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, partake responsibly. <laughs> right, correct. All right, correct. Uh, Tony, since the last video got cut off, I want to go over the schedule real quick and the promotions. Sure. I mean, we've got probably the craziest Lamy promotions that have been around, and I don't even know how long, if not like the craziest ever. So let me go ahead and share these again. You guys, real quick, any Lamy Safari fountain pen you purchase, you will get a free pack of Lamy cartridges. Any Lamy All-Star fountain pen purchase, you will get a free LZ28 converter. Any Lamy LX, Studio, or Scala fountain pen purchase, you will get your choice of a free Lamy Black ink bottle, Lamy uh, Bronze ink bottle, which was last year's special edition, or the brand new Lamy Mango ink bottle. That's crazy. I mean, that's a brand new color right there. This is seriously a killer day to pick one up. Uh, and then lastly, on the heavy hitters, if you purchase a Lamy 2000, an Emporium, or a Dialog 3, you will get your choice of a free Lamy Safari from the Candy Series. So, I mean, it's crazy stuff, man. You guys, it's very rare to give out limiteds like this, but we have to go big, you know. Boom, there it is. You know, when Tony's joining us, we like to do it big, so. <laughs> cool. 
Cool. So right go now, big or go home. Exactly. Exactly. Right now we've got uh, version one right now happening live. And then at 2 p.m. Central time, we'll hop back on live to cover the other half. Uh, Tony Lamy is simply just too big to try to cram into one video. So we do have to split it up. And then, uh, you guys, we have trivia. We've got four questions and we've got a grand prize of a Lamy LX, which we will just host a regular Instagram giveaway on a regular post after the event. Does that sound good, Tony? Sounds great. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, here we go, man. You ready to jump right in? I mean, there's a brand new release that just came out that everyone's been drooling over. You want to start with that? Yeah, sure. Sure. I'll start right off the bat. Um, we just literally received our new studio skull, our, our new studio glacier collection. Here's the ballpoint and our roller ball. And of course, the fountain pen. So this was um, like I, I almost slipped and said Scala, but this <laughs> was a, <laughs> we we did have the Scala glacier um, a little over a year ago, and it was a huge success. So Lamy, being uh, the smart people that they are, they came out with the glacier version of the studio. So this we we are already experiencing some serious. Uh, sell through so we're very very happy to to see this this taken off right out of the box i mean you're the some of the first in the, the country to receive this so we're, we're excited to see the initial launch and the initial excitement on absolutely the absolutely i remember that scala yeah it was a couple of years ago right. and, you know the reason why right. it's so successful in my opinion is because it's still kind of a a, a traditional color in a sense that it, it appeases to everybody but, right. you know, a nice, calm, soft, matte blue, I mean, I don't know how you could pass that up, man. It I mean, is. It it is. is it's, it's really pretty. Design. With the propeller clip as well, you right. know, a lot of people, too, I mean, it, it's all about the detail, right? So some individuals right. don't like when a company has, like, their, their logo printed on, on a large, you know, the entire barrel or the cap. I mean, right. is just crisp right there. I like to say you guys are the yeah. Apple products of the fountain pen game super minimal the point is across the definition and the detail of your products are just killer man great that's what we uh, are known for the, the simplicity and the design but the the fluid flow of the design of the pen the baja absolutely, of... absolutely. i want to do a design. quick comparison yep. so there's the imperial blue right next All to right. the glacier so right. you'll see it, it's definitely a lighter and a calmer blue and it's just yeah. so soft man i like it a lot yeah you can see the difference yeah so, imperial blue is my favorite but i think i'm going to start moving over to the the glacier now ah that's a big deal <laughs> because i mean think about how many pens you come across in in your day so if you ever make the switch out of your your old favorite to a new favorite, that's a big deal, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. It's just, I, and I like the the finish of it. It has such a nice feeling to your hand. Oh yeah, very well balanced. The uh, the cat posts very nicely. It actually kind of clicks in. Right. So it's not yeah, necessarily yep. a snug fit where it'll get loose over time. It'll stay nope. like you can this you can hear the time. yeah you can feel the the clip the gla the grasp. Yep, it's very nice. You can hear it too. Yeah, that's a satisfying little click in. Uh, guys, keep in mind that Lamy offers a variety of nib sizes. So uh, I think these come in extra fine, fine, and medium. medium. Maybe Correct. broad. I don't know if we brought any broad in. No, uh, no broad it's in. just those three that you mentioned. Correct. Okay. This perfect. particular one does not come in the broad. Okay, perfect. So uh, also, you guys, it is going to be a stainless steel nib, which Lamy's known to have one of the best steel nibs in the market. Uh, you can purchase the nibs separately for only about 14 right. bucks, and you can even purchase the gold nibs for I think about 90 to 100. So a lot right. of variation and different options out there per pen. So mm -hmm. perfect. Uh, I think now let's move into the Safari candies. I mean, uh, we we've got okay. a whole list to jump into the other studios later, but let's jump into the new stuff again. Okay. So what do we've got right here? Okay. There you go. I've got the the mango, and we've got the aquamarine, and then we've got the violet. 
So all three that you have, I'm not in the same sync as you are, so I'll switch it. I mean, look at that and, color. Yeah, of course they come in the fountain pen, the roller ball, and the ballpoint. Yeah, your color looks very vivid compared to my screen, so I'm going with yours. Tony, we got, the iPhone, the, we got the iPhone 20X A to Z. Ooh, brand new you're technology. rocking it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's so crisp, you know. I, I like to say yeah, a lot they, of people give me hate for using the word crispy, but I think crispy yeah. literally is the best way to, the, to give an edge to mommy, man. Yep. I'm old school, so I say, gosh, they're really sharp, you know, they're sharp. Dark, yeah, but they exactly. definitely, they're definitely vibrant. You definitely have a vibrant violet and that real crisp aquamarine. And of course, the mango just jumps. And with the mango ink, it's a, a great combination. Yeah. So they have been extremely strong at retail. So we're very happy with that. We took a bullish position since they're uh, limited in special edition. So it's not, uh, you know, you get it in 2020 and then they're, they're basically done. So we did take a nice position and we have inventory and we have been, uh, as you know, you've been reordering it since it's been such a strong mm -hmm. seller. So we, we're, in, uh, we're in a good stock position. Listen, I'm not encouraging people to resell, but with these limited editions like <laughs> Safaris and All-Stars, the value of them do go up quite a bit mm -hmm. like i remember the yep. lamy tourmaline you know from like 2016 or whatever man that is a right. super dope pen right so speaking these guys, of these guys really appreciate it. yeah check that out yeah i have the the new special editions for 2020 here the you know the tourmaline all-star which we brought in um a few months ago and then also the the tippo in the aluminum body which is the pearl rose and the light blue these are roller balls for eighteen dollars which is a great value and Taylor. as you're looking at, yep your your tourmaline all-star is just a, a wonderful value also at 47 coming in the fountain pen roller ball and ballpoint yeah so keep in mind you guys basically the biggest difference between any of these safaris and all stars is just uh, the safaris use ABS plastic, whereas the all stars use aluminum. So they do make fun of that that famous safari and all star shape with the very ergonomic grip section. But yep. you just get an opportunity to have a more vivid body because the all star is a little more shiny. You know, the light refracts a little bit more, and the safari is just a little more matte. Unless you go for the shiny black safari. Mm -hmm. And of course, we have our proprietary clip, spring-loaded, steel clip. You know, Tony, I've been noticing a lot, a lot of doctors and people in hospitals, I can tell they're using safaris or all-stars because of the clip. Yes. You just yep. know right away. Yeah, I've, uh, I've ordered quite a few for my, my laser eye doctor, eye doctor. Nice. He nice i get anything for you doc since i can see now <laughs> exactly exactly now you can see the the nib size on the actual nib right. good stuff. exactly <laughs> brilliant Tony, i think i just did something absolutely brilliant and i'm encouraging everybody to buy all three of the limited edition the special edition candies because look what you can do yeah. you can customize them i like that look at little zing and a zang. I like it. I like it. the zing and a zang, bro. I love that. I love that. You know, this is just, it's, it's innovation even further. Right. Lummi is definitely an innovative Keep, company, but I mean, come keeping on, it fresh. <laughs> exactly. Awesome. You guys. So keep in mind, we've got that killer deal going on. If you buy a Lamy 2000 Emporium or dialogue, you can actually get your choice of one of these safari candies. I mean, that's killer. Uh, yep. Tony, let's move on. Uh, actually, somebody has a question real quick uh, about sure. the, the ions. We'll, we'll talk about that in the next video. Yep. Someone's asking if there's anything new. Uh, we'll do the ions uh, next video at 2 p.m. Okay. People are, are really commenting, saying that they, they like some of the Lamy pens. 
Mm. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's slick, man. That is a slick pen. Has um, a little different nib on it where the shoulders are tapered down a little bit. And so it creates a little different writing experience, but it's very, very smooth. Definitely a heavier pen. Yeah, Tony, we'll talk about Definitely. that more at, at okay. two. Um, okay. I know you're getting excited. You like your ions. Yeah. <laughs> uh, somebody, uh, I contacted Lamy twice about two faulty nibs. I haven't received any response. Who should I contact? Go ahead, contact me. Uh, you know, there was some transitioning between uh, different right. distributors and now Lamy moving over. So definitely some communication things going on there. But go ahead and contact me and uh, we'll get you taken care of. Uh, the mango mm -hmm. is lovely. I have people drooling over the mango. Um, yeah, the, the beauty about those. What's uh, up? I was going to say the beauty, the beauty about that repair situation is that we do and still have maintained our same repair center for Lamy through the course of the last transition. So we're, we're okay, as you well know. Absolutely. So. Yeah, so you guys okay. contact me and we'll put you in touch with Bob, who's out in Arizona. Right. So the repair service is here in the U.S., so it saves yes. quite a bit of time rather than having to, to launch yourself yes. back to Germany. So perfect. All right, Tony, moving forward. Um, let's jump in to the Safari collection now, uh, excluding the, the candy series. I just want to show the different colors and. Sure. You know, there's basically a color for everyone right here. It's, it's tough not to have one. The, the Safaris are known worldwide to be one of the top dogs in terms of the entry level fountain pen. If, if you're considering an entry level fountain pen, like $30, this is what you should get. I'm going to assume actually everybody watching this video knows what the Safari is. It's, right. it's one of the most known in the game. This is our bread and butter. This is where we keep the lights going. Um, we, we sell keep the lights on, <laughs> keep the lights on this, this item, the ABS, Plastic, as you mentioned, um, if people are familiar with Legos, it's the same strong uh, material that a Lego is made of. So if you step on it, you're going to hurt your foot, <laughs> not the pen. So, and it's, it's nearly uh, indestructible. It's just indestructible. So just be careful. Um, but it's a great pen to write with the ergonomic hand um, where, where you have the tri-grip, um, the stainless steel nib. The nibs are exchangeable, uh, so you can change from the an EF to an F, you know, whatever you want to do. So you can buy multiple nibs and just have a different writing experience um, when you when you switch it out. Um, we do have the Vista in there, which is the clear version. Um, that is always at the top of the selling list, so it's a very very strong seller, along with the the grays and the blacks, and obviously the, the blue that you just picked up, are very, yeah, very strong. Yeah, hot. Uh, the charcoal yeah. is a super hot Char one too. Yep, yeah. very strong with the dark so, clip. Yeah, so I like this one. People like it when you guys match the clips to the right. actual uh, section. I agree, you know, it, it, it performs some unity, right? It yep. brings some unity to the pen. But I do also like the accents, you know, since there's not really any trim on here, I do right. like the, the chrome uh, clip because it just brings some mm -hmm. some separation and definition as well. Uh, Correct. You guys, these are normally I think thirty seven, but the everyday sale price is like twenty nine sixty. So it's very very difficult to have a better pen at that price point. Yeah, everyone's saying like, oh, it was my first pen. That's right. the one you use in school in Germany. Yeah, that's pretty big. Yes. yes. The charcoal is my favorite next to the mango. Yeah. Yeah, you right. notice the special edition has the the color coordinated clip to the body of the pen. So that's one of the um, the special items when we do bring out a new color, we do tie the clip color back to the body of the pen. Absolutely. Yeah, it's nice. It's um, it all yeah. in uniform. Yes. Perfect. All right, you guys. So uh keep in mind that Almost everything we're showing today does come in a fountain roller and ballpoint. If you see something in the Correct. video that we don't have on our site, contact us and we'll get you taken care of. Um, ballpoint after sale is $16. Rollerball after sale is 20 Fountain pen after sale is twenty nine sixty. So, I mean, that is just incredible value right there. Uh, and these will last you a long time. I mean, the AVS, time, yeah. I still got my bucket of Legos at home. You know, that stuff stays there for good. <laughs> 
things. Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, Tony. Moving on. Let's let's go up one level to the All Stars. What, what do we? All Star. Okay. Nice. So a slight upgrade in materials. Uh, again, yes. we're we're using aluminum here. That's why yes. you see some more light refraction. They appear a little bit more shiny than the safaris. Uh, it's it's great stuff. It's not even that much of a bump up in terms of price. I think it's like ten dollars more. Correct, ten dollars at retail. Yes. Yeah. So it's real cool. Someone's asking, will there be a tourmaline ink for rollerball? Uh, I can't imagine. I have to imagine all the productions already made yeah. in colors. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Uh, you guys, we're, actually, so. we're, we're sold out of the ballpoints and rollers. Uh, we only have a few tourmalines left. I mean, this stuff was hot cakes right here. You guys did a killer Let me job reorder for you. <laughs> yeah. John, what's up? I see you're, you're watching live. How you doing, Mustache John? Good to have you here. All right, cool. So uh, these, again, will come in ballpoint, roller, and fountain. Um, pen, correct. Same idea with the grips, except the grips are a little, yes. uh, they're, they're like a demonstrator grip. So you can actually see inside on the yes. action going on. In the theater, yes. Yeah, and once I, again, you can exchange those nib sizes from fine, medium, extra fine. <clears throat> yeah, so that's a good point. With the nibs, almost every single pen in your guys' collection Use Correct. the same nib. Uh, I mean, Correct. same same style of nib, whether it's the gold or, or steel. I think all same, of them. Uh, yeah, the two thousand. Two thousand. Uh, Correct. Okay. Yeah, the ion's got a little bit of a different. Although it can be exchanged with the other nib, the ion does have a specific size and shape to its nib. But it, I have seen it. It changed. Yeah. That'd be a cool project. That'd be a, definitely a cool yeah. project. So you guys, the point being is is most of the models are interchangeable. So it's Correct. real nice because from the base model all the way up, like you're getting the best writing style. And and then eventually you can work your way up and you do the gold nib. And my goodness, that is some butter right there, my man. Uh, <laughs> someone was actually telling me that they wanted, to, they wanted to buy a gold nib to put on their safari. And I was like, hey, man, I mean, wow. do it. If that's what that's, you like, do it. Yeah, that's uh, putting up. Porsche engine in a Chevy Impala, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Very true. I mean, sometimes you got to ride dirty like that, you know? That's right. <laughs> awesome. All right. Uh, so we got more of the entry level stuff out of the way. Uh, I'd like to move into uh, arguably like the number one seller in the mid tier price point. And that's moving back to the studio. Uh, you guys, the crisp look of the studio is seriously unbeatable. Uh, so, Tony, you want to explain again a little bit what's going on? Okay. The uh, Imperial Blue, I think you were you mentioned earlier, was is still one of the top sellers in the studio, um, and it has just a nice, almost matte finish to it. So you, you can really feel the grip on your in your hand. So you really have it almost not a tacky, but just a nice hand to it. So we have that obviously in the ballpoint, the roller ball, and the fountain pen, as you saw earlier. In the glade, the new edition uh, glacier color, and like you mentioned earlier as well, it just has this great crisp click to it when you're disengaging and reengaging, and of course you can hear it clicking if you're posting up. So it's uh, it's one of our favorites. It's in the modern collection. We have young collection, modern collection. And then the premium collection, we've been talking mostly about the young today with the safaris and the all-stars and the tippos. Um, and then, as you said earlier, we move on into the modern. And it's kind of also into a modern uh, price point as well. We retail the ballpoint for 79. The uh, rollerball is 89. And then this fountain pen is 99. <clears throat> and it has the propeller clip, if you will. Yep, you've got it. You can, I don't know if you can hear it, but it's it's clicking yeah, nice it's here. popping in there, yeah. Yeah, the, the studios are, are one of the most sold pens here at Atlas. 
it's just right. such a good value and it's really tough yeah, to it's a price point you know and i think i think a, a sweet big spot. reason yeah, i think a big reason also why is because you know everybody starts off with the safari right and they mm -hmm. absolutely love it they they right. can't put it down it's their everyday carry and then they're ready you know they're like wow i never used a fountain pen before the safari absolutely dominated for me i'm ready to move up right. and then boom the studio's right there just a, a slight bump in price but you're getting that really cool body and a different finish right. to it so yeah the studio you guys i'll vouch for it i mean go and get one you will not be disappointed um perfect perfect uh tony what do we got next uh i've got i've got one of the most legendary pens on the list next uh that's gonna be the 2000 you want to talk about the 2000 okay wow you're moving on into the the premium section yeah, we'll bounce back and forth. Or do you want to do the Scala okay. first? You want to do Scala or 2000? Um, Scala is a nice transition because it's it has pretty much a similar finish and hand feel as the the studios. And it is a nice update from the studio. Once you're you're graduated from the studio, you might want to go to the Scala. Here's a roller ball. It has a very similar design, and it has that same great click. Um, it's a little bit, as you can see, a little different top to it, where it's got the the chrome finish, the shiny finish. A little similar on the end, and you have the the special violet there so we've got it also in a ballpoint roller ball and fountain and we've got the matte black stainless steel oh tony real quick uh, i'm gonna jump the into the studios uh, i forgot sure. there's also a palladium and then there's also a piano black that comes with a gold nib correct so keep that a little bit of different price point, point. But yeah, you know, a little bit higher because you're getting that smooth correct. piano finish, and you're also getting that gold nib. Getting right this there. gold, that 14 karat gold, yeah, by by color gold, right? Correct. Yeah, that is smooth, man. That is yeah. smooth. All right, sorry, totally. right. Back to the Scala. Okay. Yeah, I never want to jump in there and make sure that you're carrying the full collection as you usually do, but I didn't want to uh, overstep because you may have sold out. I don't know. We sell out of your products quite a bit, man. The popularity here in Chicago is is just absurd. That's right. I'm I'm missing my uh, my trip there, but we'll get back to that soon. Hey, hopefully in the fall or winter, my man. Hopefully. Yes. So, do you have the the piano black or the matte black Scala? Uh, I'm sold out of it. I have the uh, matte black with me here yeah that's I don't... let me step aside here i may have the piano yeah so you guys a lot of people like just a solid black pen so mommy does a fantastic job basically incorporating just an all black pen in almost every collection that they offer you know the safari the, yeah. All -Star, the studio the scala the 2000 the swift so no. for those of you who don't like as much variation, again, there's basically a black color in every single pen model of a collection. Yeah, the matte I can show you the finish. That's what the finish looks like in the piano black, but I won't reveal which this pen is until this afternoon. <laughs> yeah, that's a big hitter. I can already tell which one that is. Yeah, I knew you did. Cool. Uh, is there anything else you want to say about the Scala before we move on? Um, I think we pretty much covered it. It's um, it's one of the popular step ups, like as I said, from once you're into the studio range, and then you're kind of moving into a little bit of higher price range. And it has that same similar similar feel as the finish of the studio. So it's a nice transition moving up and price point and it's it, it gives you a different option if you want something slightly heavier Correct. a little more cylindrical exactly what i was going to say it's, it's, it's a definitely nice a heavier 
Correct. Yeah, it's it's definitely a heavier hand, so you 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 need to like that kind of feeling of hand. So that's why um, it's for a specific individual who likes to have a nice heavy hand feel. Absolutely, absolutely, yeah. perfect. All right, now we can go on to the legendary two thousand. Uh, this has got to be close to the number one seller in terms of like price per unit sold. I mean. Right. This is a pen that everybody needs in their collection at some point in their life. And, and Tony's got it right there, you guys. This is one of the most sought after pens for a very reasonable price. I mean, I think it's a uh, sale price of like 200. So hovers around yeah, there. Yeah, it's uh, 249 um, MSRP. Um, and you can definitely feel the, and hear the click on this uh, guy. You do such a great job selling this item. I, I know every time I'm there for our our takeover day, you sell out. And we but this is the Tony, I think we did like ten to fifteen and, and that's just because it's too tough to pass up. It seriously right. is. It's got the uh, the built in piston where you draw the ink from the the invisible piston. And you has it has a little window so you can see your ink level. So just to give you guys an idea of how well this pen is made, you can't even see where the piston is. Right. On on this high def high res camera. Right? <laughs> it's too tough for me to do with one hand, but I'm going to uh, flip the camera. It, it's seriously it's just one of the most well-made pens. Tony, I actually see some clients walk in and they show me their 2000 from like the 70s. And I'm like, wow, mm -hmm. it's like wow. twice, three times as old as I am. That's pretty yeah. wild. Did Tom have that in his pocket this morning when he walked in? <laughs> yeah, Tom's got like four of these, man. He's got every lobby <laughs> out there times like three. I he believe it. a good one to collect. Yeah. But yeah. yeah that's, so uh, this is what the company was built on and it's still the same design same manufacturing um from the day it hit the market so this is just timeless design and timeless use it's just a beautiful pen you hear that click great yeah it also it clicks in because there's these two little metal like yeah. uh, i don't know what you call those like clasp or little brackets that stick yeah like there. a little yeah like a little you're right it's like a little clasp where you get the the closure and the click yeah so it, it clicks in so it, it it's basically impossible to lose your cap right and then it right. does sit on the back end really well if you decide to yes. press it. Uh, keep in mind too I, I guess this can be considered a hooded nib so where the nib is actually yes under the front yes. section <clears throat> right it's recessed slightly so that it does have a little recess to your point yes Absolutely. Tony, a lot of people are saying that yeah, Lamy needs to come out with more internal piston filling pens. I'll make that note. There you go. You know, whatever the, the Chicago team decides, you know, Lamy's got to do it, man. We, we know best. Right over here. Right. So I see you have the uh, stainless steel. Exactly. So one thing to yep. keep in mind is the stainless steel is significantly heavier than the Macrolon. I mean, two completely different materials. Yeah, uh, it's a nice very, offering because there's so many people who like the heft and the weighted pens. Nice. So this really gives you that opportunity to jump into a, a heavier pen while maintaining, you know, the, the legendary the same writing model. Right. Yeah. Yeah, this is beautiful. Yeah, it's definitely heavier. You can definitely feel the, the weight behind the stainless steel versus the uh, macro arm. Yeah, Tony, people are also asking to uh, do like a build your own safari, you know, where you offer all the individual pieces and then you put them together. You guys, somebody might do that at pen shows. I mean, you know, I'm sure. I have seen that at pen shows. It's uh, kind of just kind of back to the Lego experience, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's a cool concept. And I mean, all you really yeah. need is like, well, two to three separate pieces, you know, depending on what you go for, the grip, the uh, yeah, the body, the barrel, or the cap. So you guys, mm -hmm. you go to a pen show in like 2021, I'm sure somebody offers like a build your own. 
if not you can buy it you can buy every single safari model yourself and build your own and so. yeah do it yourself yeah <laughs> exactly uh all right you guys so Keep in mind the 2000 comes in that macro line, comes in the stainless steel. Uh, last year there was an anniversary one that was like a dark blue. I think only 500 right. units. Sold out instantly, man. You know, couldn't right. really look at it. It was gone just like that. Yep. There was 1900, uh, basically 1919 worldwide. Wow. Wow. It was yeah. a dark blue. And I know it was a celebration. It was like an anniversary, right? Correct. Baja correct. Anniversary. Baja, yes, correct. Yep. Cool. Cool. Yeah. So you guys, basically, what we're trying to say is, anniversary. yeah, if and when, maybe in fifty years from now, you guys decide to do another colored Lamy two thousand, do not pass it up. It'll sell out instantly, like literally instantly. So. Yeah. Uh. All right, Tony. Last thing I've got on our list in terms of pens for this video is the Swift. Uh. This is one of the more renowned capless roller balls in the game. Yeah. Yeah, this is the, the graphite color here. And it's just, it is, when it says swift, it's a swift writing. It's so smooth. The rollerball is just a great writing experience. And you can show how the, cap, how the clip recesses after you engage it. And then once you want to put it away, it does pop back up there. Yeah, there you go. So that you can put it away in your pocket without inking yourself or your shirt, I should say. Dude, that's like one of the biggest problems people see with pens is they ruin their shirts. <laughs> yeah. Not with this one. Doesn't allow yeah, this, that. This prevents that. So yeah, he's showing right. the clip extending in and out. Right. It's slick. It's real slick. It's got a really, really unique look to it as well. Um, yeah. Yeah, very well priced. Uh, I think the sale price is fifty two. I'm not sure of the retail off the top of my head. Sixty five MSRP for this one. Yeah, it just flows so nicely. I mean, there is no discrepancies in the refill right here in the writing. Right. It's not skipping at all. It's Smooth. vibrant yeah. rollerball ink. Uh, so keep in mind, Tony, this one as well as I think that. Tippo, I think they use the M66 refill rather Correct. than the M63. Correct. The M66 also for the Emporium. For the Emporium, there you go, which we'll get into later. Right. Fantastic. Uh, somebody is asking if Lamy will ever come out with another retractable nib. So, I mean, could be in the future, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we definitely have one. Um, that we'll talk about later, but um, I, you never say never. I, right now, we're staying in our lane and doing what is best for the uh, the company. And um, the designers come up with new ideas uh, every quarter. So I, I'm not sure what 2021 has in store for us yet. Always a lot, though, whether it's a new pen or if it's a new finish. There's always right. something going on at Lobby. And, and always uh, new colors. In the safari oh, yeah. and all yeah highly collectible too uh somebody asked about the the lh nib so the left-handed nib yes. uh it, it's it's basically compatible with the majority of the pens and it just gives you Correct. a little bit more of an advantage when writing as a lefty you know if you're overhooking or underhooking right. so you can actually right. get a better angle while writing so it right. makes the, the so you're not the, pushing exactly yeah. Exactly. So it's cut at the end. The, the point is cut to make it a little bit easier for lefties. Uh, I Correct. feel bad for all the lefties because I know they probably smear all the time dragging. Right. Dragging your hand across it. But no, we definitely sell uh, left-handed nibs. So cool. That's, it's that's a nice thing nice that, that Lamy offers. It's definitely a nice right. thing because uh, if people come in, I'm a lefty, what can I do? And I'm like, well... Lamy, right? You can go Lamy, but Try a nip, like, yeah. otherwise not. I mean, Try the new nip. Companies offer it unless you do a custom grind, which is a whole other ball game. Ball game, right? Um, all right, Tony. So we're we're finishing up here. Uh, we just did the pens. Um, I want to split the inks up a little bit. You know, there's so much to cover. So let's okay. just talk about the uh, the regular inks first. Or do you want to do the crystal? What What do you want to do? 
Uh, crystal's the new, the newest that we have. Okay, um, let, let's do the crystal link then. So what's going on with this? You carry all. Yeah, I've got all of them. So I can show. I'll walk down the aisle. So this was okay. what, last year or two years ago? Um, yeah, it's been over a year now. Um, I want to say holiday 18. Okay, so still relatively new on the market. Right, right. Let me get the colors up here. Yeah, so, so one thing I've realized is the colors are a little bit more unique, and they're a little bit brighter. They're more vivid, right? So it's not just your Correct. standard blue, your standard black, your standard green. It, it's all inspired by certain crystals or gems, right? So, right. you know, the Amazonite's it, incredibly popular, the Azurite. Uh, right. The the, um, the, it actually has a slight, as you said, crystallized in it. So it also has a little bit of a shimmer in it, if, if you look closely. Um, nice. But, um, yeah, the Azurite, uh, um, Amazonite, has been, they've been very, very popular because they're more of a blue to green tone. Um, the barrel has been very strong. And I know it always seems to be a very, very strong seller for you whenever we've been there for the, uh, the takeover. It's just a, a great add-on to uh, to highlight your Safari or All Stars, it really ends up oh, yeah. giving another you know, boost. I think something very important is so you know Lavi is known for being more of a simplistic brand. So it was a big deal when these got released because it's offering an, a plethora of different options. Again, Dif imagine right. your standard blue, your standard black. So it really elevated Lavi in the ink game. I mean, I know like right. the regular blue black will sell on its own as being one of the most notorious inks out there. But I'm really proud that you guys offer these different colors because as we're starting to realize is a lot of people aren't just writing with fountain pens. They're drawing, they're doing watercolor art. Yes. And it's, it's a whole bunch of different things where the color variation and, and different decisions and options are, are really important. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to walk over to our ink real quick. Okay. What I found that um, a lot of the customers were doing, we're taking the Vista, and putting a converter in it and then filling their converters with these crystal inks, which were creating such a nice contrast to the Vista being, you know, minimalistic and clear. And they were grabbing all of the, the crystal ink colors, you know, one at a time, of course, but it was creating a nice, vibrant look to their Vista because wow. of the colorations that's of the brilliant. ink. Yeah, that's yeah really. really. Vista is such a popular seller. Correct. Yeah, you get all those high colors and and deep purples and the barrels, uh, the the Amazonite, and so it, it created a nice contrast to the Vista Clear uh, plastic. Absolutely. Yep. Absolutely, Tony. I grabbed our swatch book. I'm going to see if we have them swatched so we can look at them all together. Oh right. You did have one because I used it quite often the last time I was there. <laughs> yeah, yep, so there it is. You, you'll see a lot of different options available here. Yeah, that's one of the most popular. And then you named Correct. it again the barrel, the fuchsia. Fuchsia is hot yes. right now. Yeah, the barrel. Lots of really good options out there. Uh, Tony, the last thing I want to just talk about briefly is the notebooks. Um, we'll, we'll cover more of the notebooks in the regular ink series in the next video just because we hit a lot of pens on this one. Just okay. Um, well, just in case anyone's building a card right now, you know, they want to make a purchase, I, I want to go over the notebooks real fast. So these, okay. are new. these came out, I want to say, last year, right? Correct. Yeah. So you have a, okay. basically uh, almost like the Safari notebook, right? It comes in like blue, pink, Correct. black. Yes. Yeah, yes. So, yes. so yeah, the soft Safari. side. Right. So the, the soft sided came in the Safari colors. And this being the hardcover with the silver hardcover body. But the all-star trim edge of the paper was not correct. You've got 
the black purple. I'd got the blue. So it came in this. So that was the two differences. One mirroring the safari color and then the hardcover mirroring the all-star colors. And they came in two sizes, the A5 and the A6. Yep, there you go. So A6 right here, A5. So right, twenty dollar retail and twenty five dollar retail perfect. for the two size price point. Yeah, <laughs> so perfect. I just wanted to, to cover those real quick, just in case somebody's building their okay. cart. Um, whose paper? Then is also, the I think that's Lamy's paper. That's your guys' own paper, right? It yes, that's our proprietary uh, design with uh, a dot and grid. Um, so, um, I have one here open, I believe. Ninety gram weight. So that's thick. That's thick paper right there. Yeah. See if you can see the. So it's it's a it's basically a grid with extra dots. Grid and it's a dotted dots. Grid. Correct. A grid dot. Correct. Yeah. Tony, uh, during the intermission, if I find our sample, I'll I'll get a close up on it too. Okay. Perfect. Uh, it doesn't ghost. The, 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 the ink retains very nicely. Again, you're you're getting the 90 pounds or 90 GS. 90 gram weight. Yes, so that's, this is that's thick. right. That yeah, it um, stands up to our our fountain pens. You've got two bookmarks also. One will always be the bright and fountain. The second one will match the color. Perfect. Yeah. All right, you guys. So those are on our website. Uh, we are going to go ahead and, and end the, the product showcasing for this video. Uh, let me show everybody what we went over real quick for those who are new. Um, yeah, lots and lots of good stuff here, guys. So keep in mind, we'll, we'll showcase the other half of Lamy at 2 p.m. Central time. But for now, Tony, I think it's trivia time, my man. What do you think? Uh -huh. Okay. Time to, uh, time to get some lucky winners. Let's go. Let's go. By the way, the notebooks do not come in a wire bound. It's, it's all that, that all right. sticks. It's not wire bound. There's no spiral bound. Uh, but here we go. You guys, throw an emoji in the chat while I do the disclaimer. Tony, I'm going to do the disclaimer and the trivia rules real quick. We're going to see how quickly I can do it. Here we go. <laughs> Tony will ask the questions. You guys will answer the questions. The first person to give the correct answer in the chat that pops up on my screen. Yes, my screen will win that respective prize for that question. There will be two questions today, which means two prizes. You must live in the U.S. And if you do win, we'll contact you afterwards to ship out your prize at no charge some point in these next couple of days. Now, keep in mind, we are totaling up your total tally of all the questions you've gotten correct. The person who gets the most correct answers at the end of this month, so ends today, will receive a $100 Atlas gift card. Not going to lie, Tony, there's been a guy that's been dominating trivia. I think he's low-key already won the, the competition. The guy is just – dude, he's insane. He's all over he's everything. But wow. So here we go, you guys. Tony, I think they're ready. Uh, you want to ask wow. the questions? Um, since I don't have the two that you selected for this video session, you might want to tell me which ones they are. So I can, or, or you could just ask them. Tony, and I have Tony, the answer. I'll, whis I'll whisper them through the, the speaker, okay? <laughs> uh, that's cool. I'll, I'll do these questions, and then you can do the, the two questions for next video. Does that sound good? Perfect. Perfect. All right. Excellent. We must have had that ready. technical difficulty. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. First prize is going to be a Lamy ink bottle of your choice. So if you guys want to choose the, the Lamy ink of your choice, assuming it's in stock. Here we go. <laughs> what is the newest color in the Pico series from Lamy? I didn't want to show the Pico in this first video because it would have given away the answer. Right. So we're looking for what is the newest finish on the Lamy Pico? First person to get it right gets a ink bottle of their choice. Boom. Dr. Coleman, that is correct. Rose gold. Rose gold. Yeah, the rose gold sharp. That's definitely a big switch up with the metallic type finish. So, Tony, don't show them yet. If you have it, let's show them in the next video to give them something to look forward to besides our okay. beautiful faces, all right? <laughs> All right, here we go. 
The correct answer was rose gold, you guys, and you'll love it once we show you at 2 p.m. Central Time. Here we go for question number two. This is for a Lamy Safari fountain pen of winner's choice. And I guess we'll do nib size if, if it's compatible, if we can do it. So here we go, you guys. Question number two. What is the newest color of the Lamy LX series? Looking for the newest color, a part of the LX series. One of my favorite finishes from Lamy. Well, you're very strategic on how you ask these questions. I like well, because that. Because I didn't want to show that one either. Otherwise, you know, there wouldn't be a point to trivia, <laughs> right? Was... Correct. You know, I, I think a little I... bit ahead of time, believe it or not. How crazy. I know. It was <laughs> late last night when we were at, when I set those questions. <laughs> but hey, we, remember. Need, we need proper spelling. We need correct spelling. Ah, good All one. All right. I got to give it to Heath. It's Maroon. Maroon. It's, I'm it's Maroon. Brown. Yeah. It's brown. So <laughs> we'll show the brown finish afterwards. Uh, I want to say maybe it translates to like walnut or chestnut. Or, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Yeah. Later. Yeah. yeah. Uh, chocolate, Perfect. maybe? You too, man. Yeah, you too. Uh, Tony, so we just gave out a Lamy ink bottle. We just gave out the, the uh, Safari. Uh, I know we got two more questions in the next video. And then, of course, the right. grand prize of the Lamy LX. Uh, right. For both of you guys, Keith and Dr. Coleman, congratulations. Uh, let me write his name down before I forget. Right. Tony, what I've realized is I've gotten older. You got to write down everything. <laughs> oh, you're learning from me. <laughs> yeah, my, my parents always get mad at me because I'm like, yeah, I'm listening, I'm listening. And then I always listen. Yeah. So. yeah. Cool. All right, you guys. Tony, thank you for joining us for the first video. Thank you. We'll be going live again at 2 p.m. Central Time. Tony, you want to sign off you want to anything you want to say thank you um i, I just um urge you to take a look uh, if you can get into atlas to take a look at these ma the mango and the aquamarine and the violet because they'll be gone soon so get get them while they're hot and obviously the tourmaline as well so stay well and um, i'll see you soon I'll see you soon. I love it. Awesome, guys. Thank yeah. you so much. Okay. We'll see you in a couple hours. Peace. Okay. Arrivederci.